You just want to bite that like a grizzly bear, right? <laughs> oh, definitely hit pause for a second. Hey guys, and it's alive. Gonna do one of my faves. We're gonna do a salmon jerky, a little fish jerky. Got a beautiful piece of wild Alaskan coho salmon. I got a bunch of different spices and ingredients. We're gonna make a marinade, get it in the hydrator. We're gonna call it jerky. Jerky. Yeah. You took out all my opinions and thoughts and now ideas turkey, already. Now it's turkey. Let's talk about betray, I mean cranberry sauce. Ooh, missing sumac, but. So, beautiful piece of fish. You know, again, get the best fish you can get. I want something that isn't gonna have a huge amount of fat content in jerky making, just like beef or anything else. You want those leaner cuts. So like if you can get a wild sockeye or a wild coho, get, yeah, get wild. This is all about the wild fish here. I mean, this is nice, beautiful color. Dense, nice clean flavor. The belly is the fattest, you know, the fattiest on, on just about all of them. I'm gonna take like a pound and a half piece off the tail and then save that, we'll cook that up for family meal. Uh, or maybe I'll make a little grob locks or something. Hey guys, today and it's alive. We're gonna be making one of my favorite dishes is a, well, I guess it's not a dish. One of my favorite foods. Hey guys, today and it's alive. But we'll nip this right here. Nice lean tail in the back. Like, look at that. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Nice shirt. Thank you. Show the world. The world that watches. Nailed you. They're right to the T. Right That's Gabby. So I'm going to take the skin off. Right at the tail. Cut down. And just run it right on the skin. Voila. Beautiful. You take this, roll it up, and smoke it. Now, you could, you know, crisp this up. You do whatever you want. You know, crisp this up, make a little, little skin, you know, a little crispy skin number. Do whatever, give it to Andy. We'll leave it right there for now. What are you gonna do with this? I don't know, we can maybe, maybe I'll dehydrate it. Make a face mask. Uh, this is kind of my thing now, so. You're gonna take over? Hey, we're gonna make some salmon uh, jerky today. I got my buddy Brad Leone here with hey, me. Hey guys. He's gonna help me out along the way. Yeah. Uh, Andy's gonna provide a little bit of sass coming in. Every yeah, once classic, in a while. classic uh, Andy. Morocco's gonna serve some uh, like kind of questionable looks from the back. Uh, you know, Rappo's over there. He's gotten some people through the test kitchen. It's gonna be a great one. Let's go. Big energy today Big on energy. the Tuesday, huh? Fucking Delaney, the nemesis of the show, the pirate. Okay, where the hell were we, Hunzi? So, when doing fish jerky, I'm gonna cut this right down the line. And so we, I don't want super long strips. I like little, little. We'll split down, right down the center into, into, oh wait a minute. Yeah, no, that's okay. Okay, just to make it a little bit more manageable. And then usually, you know, if you were gonna, you know, say you were gonna cut smoked salmon or gravlax or something, you would slice it this way, just like you would cut like a piece of fish. For jerky, I like to cut it this way, lengthwise strips. That'll help it stay together, stop from that inter, you know, interconnective uh, tissue, to prevent it from falling apart, and it'll just hold into a nice, beautiful strip. So I'll cut it into fours, beautiful, and then we'll, and then we'll just slice it into nice little strips. Like an eighth inch, about an eighth a quarter inch. Something like this. And look, when you slice it that way, you see it kind of, it really keeps together. If you were to cut it the other way, it would start to fall apart, especially after a while in the, in the marinade. Nice, beautiful color. And that's coming from what the fish eats, uh, what this wild fish is eating, you know? It uh, goes out to the ocean, gets into all those like little crustaceans, different types of, uh, of, of fish and stuff that it's eating. And all that is helping contribute to the, to the color of these fish and the flavor. So all about the wild, get the wild if you can, especially for, especially for salmon, especially for everything. My God, we'll add those right to the bowl and I'll slice the rest of these up. Now, a lot of folks like to cut the dark meat out, and you can, you know, it can be a little fishy for some folks. I kind of dig it. We're gonna leave it on. We're gonna leave it on and see how it goes. If you're not super into fishy flavored things, I guess you're probably not making fish jerky, but if you, you know, are, if you're on the, if you're on, if you're, if you're, 
Do I hear a baby? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got babies. All right, so now we're gonna build our, our, our marinade for this. And we're gonna let this marinade overnight in the fridge. First up is the goji gen. Fermented Korean pepper paste. It's awesome. You've seen me use it a bunch of times. It's just a great pantry item to have in your, in your fridge. We're gonna add three tablespoons. Next, soy sauce. I'm gonna use a little tamari and a little bit of black soy sauce. If you can't find this, um, this, is a, this is a Thai soy sauce. It's awesome. Uh, it's a little sweet. Just a, it's a black soy. If you can get your hands on it, knock yourself out. If not, just do a little bit more soy sauce. So first up, regular soy. We're gonna do three tablespoons. Come back in 20 minutes. There it is. Next up, we're gonna do the black soy sauce. We're just gonna do one tablespoon. It's a little thicker, oh, but it's nice. There it is. For our next trick, sesame One tablespoon, sesame seeds. Next up, a little cayenne pepper. Give it a little bit of heat. We're gonna do one teaspoon. Oh, that's the stuff. Now we're singing and singing, baby. A little zingo, bingo, bango, baby. Next up, miso. <clears throat> I'm gonna use, because I had it from, <coughs> I had it from, <laughs> from another project, some really cool uh, chickpea miso. Uh, one tablespoon of that. One more ingredient. Let me go get another tablespoon. Okay. Who is that, Igor? Who's that one from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Okay. What was his deal? Just depressed? Uh, he was depressed and closeted. And, oh, closeted? Igor had some severe. He had some, he was dealing with some sh No one was talking about that, but that I was, was dark. I thought about him the whole time. I really did. Really? Oh, yeah. Interesting. His, what's it called? What was the hyper one? Tigger. Uh, Tigger. Tigger. Oh, Tigger bouncing off the walls. Tigger, oh, relax. I really feel bad for Igor. I want to like, like, where is he now? Eeyore. What did I say, Igor? Oh yeah, Eeyore. Eeyore. Let's pull this right back down. So adding a little bit of a nuka honey. It's a really cool, thick, flavorful floral honey from uh, New Zealand. And now we're just going to mix this all up. Make it one big, nice, happy thing. Mm. Oh God, I love honey. Woo. All right, let me get a little uh, juice, juice, juice thing. Maybe I'll just use the spoon. Get that miso all broken down nice. No clumps, no lumps, no bumps, no humps, no dumps. Oh God. Oh, I almost forgot the wild card, bud. A little piece of fresh ginger. Oh yeah. Just crush that up, let that hang out. All right. Now I'm just gonna pour that over there. I'll uh, put a little plastic over it and we'll pop it in the fridge. I'm just gonna do this by hand. What's it sound like? Like wet clay? Great, now I'm just playing with it. So I'm just gonna push this down onto it. I don't want any oxygen. Tuck it in on the side. Just tuck it in a little, bud. Just like that. I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge, bud. And that's it. Gabby, walk in looks pretty good, bub. Well, thank you. I learned from the best. I Damn right. So All right, we'll give you a B plus. B plus? Right behind you, Morocco. Who smells delightful down here? It's a madhouse in here. Everyone's mad at us. Oh, Claire. What have we got here? We're not done yet. So we're making salmon jerky. I did that already. Oh, right, yeah, have a snack, and we'll talk about it. Look at that, nice. I'm just going to do it like that. Because they're a little thick. I think they can take it. I like it spicy. You know, it's like fish jerky. You can get away with putting it. It can take a good, a good marinade, you know? And then how long are they dehydrated? We do it at 135 for, you know, around four or five hours. Oh, not that long. No, not that long. Brad. Yeah. I was at the microwave earlier. Yeah. I couldn't help but notice that that bag of... Uh, oh, the egg yolks? ...has been there since... Yeah, it's now just a novelty. <laughs> it's just a fun little thing. It's a beautiful color. Are you going to open it? I'll open it one day. Let me know how it is. Ooh, these are going to be spicy. They're going to be flavorful, little little boogers. I think buggers is the what people oh, yeah. say, right? Ew, I saw my kid eat a booger the other day. 
I can't even, like, I've never been so disappointed. And, like, he goes, what? I'm like, that is the most disgusting thing. I was never a booger eater as a kid. Claire, maybe you were? No. No, you were no booger eater. No. Look, she's acting weird. She might have been. All right, this might take a little while because they're a little thicker than when I, de than when I uh, did this the first time. But uh, I like that because I kind of like them a little meaty like that. So we'll just set it, 135. I'll set the timer for eight hours. I'll check this by the end of the day. Maybe it'll be done. You know what time is it? Quarter to two? Probably won't be. But before I go home, I'm going to drop the temperature and probably just let it hang out. I'll, 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 I'll have to assess the situation then. But till then, we'll pop these in the dehydrator, huh? It's going to be spicy, tangy, nice. We should put some of them fermented powders on this. Ooh, what a great idea. All right, so we'll keep an eye on those. Hunzi, if you're around, I'll come grab you when I, when I test these out later. But if you're not, no big deal. I'll just fill you in tomorrow. Uh, and we'll nibble on them. We'll taste them. We'll, we'll have some fun. We'll check it out. So uh, see you in a little bit, huh? Bon appetit. Okay, we're not done yet. We'll see you tomorrow. Just get out of here. Claire's mad. Everyone's mad. Dan's mad. <laughs> Fine. Dan's mad. You know, whatever, Dan. So I'm hoping the new added reinforcements will help the uh, fermentation. And we'll check it in a few days, right, Hunzi? To the next one. <laughs> hey, guys, today I need to talk. No, what are we doing now, Hunzi? We're going to do. Oh. Oh, you want to talk about fish jerky, do you? So, have we addressed Kevin at all yet? Kevin. So we made the fish jerky, marinade was beautiful, fish was beautiful, we had it in the dehydrator. Uh, the team, the production team for one of the other shows, I think Claire was shooting or something. Kevin, he's a great guy, camera operator, one of the best in the biz. But he made a fit, you know, he really, he really pooched me. Uh, he was unplugging his little light system and he unplugged the dehydrator. Something happened. He called me like five times. This was like a Friday at like 7.30, the poor guy. Uh, eventually I got back to him, he, uh, yada yada, he plugged it back in. Long story short, it's, it's dehydrated. It's a little, it's, I don't think there's any moisture left. Well, let's take a look. Kevin. If I didn't like him so much, I'd be, I'd be pissed. Oh, Delaney. Well, well, look who it is. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to call it. That's a good one, Delaney. <laughs> he just gave me the, he's like, don't leave. You wore shorts, huh? Over 90 degree uh, forecast. Look, matching be... shoe. Look at this guy. All right, pay attention. What's up? So, Kevin, you know Kevin's uh, camera uh, yeah. guy? Camera guy Kevin. Yeah, he screwed me. What he happened? unplugged it by accident. He's the <laughs> nicest guy in the world. He unplugged it by accident, and he, we troubleshoot it. Long story short, we made salmon chips. They're very, very oh, dry. Oh, damn. Honestly, taste like it, taste on it. a grain bowl or something? Like oh, no, it's not a lost product. As a garnish, it's tasty now. You know, you crunch that over a salad, Dude, right, that, maybe, or like, like a, a salmon just dip like, or something. Like over fried rice. Ooh, now fried you're talking. Fried, just fried little rice, scallion, egg. This and let it kind of come to in like the... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. So that's what we were trying to do. Thank you, Kevin. No, <laughs> no but long story short, it didn't taste bad, right? It's just dry. No, it's not. It's just, yeah, texturally it's dry. Don't move. Oh, yeah. All right, I like it. Let it roll. So this is a batch. Look at the color difference. Oh, whoa. Same marinade, same marinade, same everything. Just didn't get Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally different texture. I heard that, by the way. Kevin. Culprit. You shouldn't have showed your face, buddy. Yeah. I can eat. The, I don't know how to phrase that. I was gonna say I could eat the hell out of that. I'd say that's. That's fine. I need the hell out of it. Yeah. I need the hell out. Of it. A little road trip. Ooh. Ooh, you're out on a boat. Front seat of the car. Ooh, Front seat of the, the car boat. on a boat. You're going fishing. Like when we were. Doing, you know. We had the that's on the good. Boat in Vermont. That might be the best salmon jerky I ever had. Thanks for swinging by, bud. Oh uh, yeah. Really needed that. So, little happy accident. Over dehydrated. Hey, this happens though, you know what I mean? You guys might have a Kevin running around in your world too. I don't know. Either way, you might be Kevin. I don't know. It's fine. This is gonna be fine. I'll throw it in a bag, let that hang out. I'm gonna put this back in a in a um in the ziploc. This one, I think the lady's onto a good idea there with the making, you know, 
Maybe I'll make it into a powder or just like chip it out and, or chunk it out and use it in a fried rice. I think that would be really nice. Even when you make mistakes, I think you can salvage it like we're going to do with this. Uh, it's by no means garbage, by no means. Um, it's just not as tasty to nibble on as that one. You live, you learn. Bon appetit. Thumbnail. We'll give these ones to Kevin. <laughs> to see how long it can stay shelf, uh, shelf stable. Wait, we got, we got this going on now too? What the hell is this, Hunzi? What is it? Hunzi, is it? This is like the Truman Show. Is this you? Our life's a lie. Well, I tell you, today's sound guy is a real prick. Yeah. <laughs> tidy whitey, is it my tidy whitey kind of guy, you think? I haven't worn underwear in six years. I don't wear underwear. Oh, yeah, what am I saying? It doesn't make sense. No, like six years now. I knew there was some kind of mystery happening. Sometimes when I wear, I wear a suit or something, you kind of have to sometimes, you know, like yeah. like real, like otherwise you're like, what's that guy from Mad Men? Didn't he get, like, he was always, like, his he always had, like, oh, pant going. Pant dick. <laughs> pant dick. That's the thing, right? Uh, Today we're going to show you how to make pant dick. <laughs>